Willkommen in Österreich. I think I said that right. Right? That's Austrian German. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, putting Canada behind us, we're about to hit a very busy stretch of racing. There were some things that we can examine from Montreal and bring them into this race. So, who is going to be on the top podium spot in Austria? While that answer Max. may not surprise you, the runners up might. Let's give our three predictions for the Austrian Grand Prix. Let's examine the Red Bull ring. There are three DRS zones, which will obviously favor the Red Bull drivers. Examining previous winners shows Max Verstappen as being dominant in recent memory. He's won in Austria four times, dating back to 2018. Last year, however, the race was won by Charles Leclerc, or Charles Leclerc, in a much better Ferrari than this year's. And of course, we have the Aston Martin of Fernando Alonso running wild on this course. So who's on our podium? Well, Max, Max. wins. Until Max shows he's human, we have to almost assume he'll win each race. He has the experience here, and he has the car. In second, let's go with Shao. Charles almost won in 2019. Max made a pass that was investigated by the stewards, but he wasn't found to be at fault for anything. And he won last year. Ferrari showed a bit more competence in race in Canada, and I think that can carry over. And in third, uh, oh boy. This is between Lewis and Fernando. And... I think I'm going to go with the Aston Martin. I think it's a better car, so let's go with Alonso. <laughs> Ferrari's really going to show how wrong I am, aren't they? Oh, God. Oh, God! <laughs> so there's our podium. What's our next prediction? I anticipate Albon scoring points again. How cool is it to see that a Williams hold on for so long and actually be fast on the track? The Williams should prove quick enough on this one and we should see Albon take advantage of that. It'd be great to see Sargent come alive for this one. He has to finish in the top 15, at least in my mind, to see some growth. Does that happen? Yeah. That's not a prediction I want to make. But expect Albon in the top 10. And so, for our final prediction. Anticipate Haas floundering once again. Haas has become the team of one-lap races. Some good qualifying and then nothing when it comes time for the actual race. I predict no points and a pretty good moment for Drive to Survive in this race. Rain is expected to fall this weekend, so we might be in for a Canada 2.0, but we shall see. We also have a sprint race, and if you're wondering about those, check the video out right here in the corner. That corner. That one. Those are our three predictions for the Austrian Grand Prix. Was I off base on any of them? Let me know in the comments, and let's keep this discussion going. If you enjoyed this, maybe consider clicking the subscribe button. We do this every week, for every race, and I try to put out a daily short. Thank you all so much for watching, and I look forward to the races. Take care.